Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies and happy first day of summer. We are out here in my garden again where I have been planning to have the first day of summer garden update. But uh, things in the garden aren't quite what I expected they would be like today um, because last night we were hit with a, a killer frost which has caused some more problems in my garden that um, I wasn't expecting it this time of year. Um, here in Zone 3 Saskatchewan, we should we should normally have frost at this time of the season. It's usually our last frost date is about the third week of May. There's always risk of frost early June, which if you've watched some of my other videos, I experienced also in my garden. And so I wasn't very happy to see the weather report yesterday when it said the temperatures were going to be dropping to uh, a low of plus four with the risk of frost. So here in uh, our yard, we tend to drop a little bit f lower. Always we kind of are in some kind of a frost zone or something uh, where um, if, it's, if the uh, weatherman tells you it's going to drop to plus four, chances are it could drop to zero or, you know, a few degrees lower. So we always have to kind of keep that in mind um, here in our yard. So um, Preston and I came out last night and we covered everything with all the sheets and towels and covers that we could find and got most of the stuff pretty protected so we thought anyway as good as we could do so i'm just going to take you on a little walk around show you some of the damage that um, uh, hit some of my plants here in the garden so this morning when i got up um, at 5 30 a.m i quickly checked the temperature with Environment Canada and it said it was plus two so then I knew for sure that meant that it had to have been zero or lower out here in my yard and so I came out right away to do a quick check before I had to leave for work so this is one of my raised garden beds that we covered with a bed sheet and this morning there was a lot of moisture on the tops and I could see wherever you know there was um, contact with the sheets and a lot of moisture that uh, it froze slightly and it burnt some of the leaves on my bean plants here and also on my cucumber so it didn't kill them but it's definitely going to cause some stress and we'll see how well they produce in the long run onions came out okay And in this raised garden bed, I had some uh, plastic covers for my peppers that seemed to do the job, kept them pretty protected. These poor peppers have already been through one frost. So they're definitely tough. Um, and I'm hoping that they will pull through this one again and keep growing. Again, the tips of tomatoes got pretty burnt here. These are ones that were in pots that I hadn't planted out yet after the last frost that we had. So they got planted out afterwards. This is my uh, sweet 100s, I believe it's called, that I purchased to replace some of my dead tomatoes. And you can see there's a lot of burnt leaves, but I think it'll probably bounce back. This one also got some damage as well everything that we had covered up with sheets here my other tomatoes my lettuces and beets they all seem to uh, survive with no visible damage so that's good I had some spare space and in, in with these smaller tomatoes so I thought why not throw in some um, kale seeds so I see it's popping up and growing really well so I'll be harvesting some of that soon. I've been harvesting spinach every day. My yellow beets are coming along good here. And my romaine lettuce is starting to fill in pretty good. So I should be able to start harvesting that for some salads soon. I had just planted up this flower box last weekend and didn't have anything to cover it last night. But it looks like everything came out okay. 
The potatoes that I have uh, growing in straw and containers are really coming along good. As you can see, they are filling up these containers. Um, again, we had them covered with bed sheets, but they, they got some frost damage. And the leaves here, which I'm hoping will not slow them down too much. I have a lot of potatoes popping up through the straw here now in these rows as well. So, so what we did with those to try and protect them was just pull up more straw around them and covered them up so that they were protected through the night. And uh, it seemed to work pretty good. A little bit of damage on some of the tips of the leaves. The 10 um, corn seedlings that I planted directly into the straw here have taken hold and they are starting to grow. So that's good. We had them covered up last night as well. So they hopefully are gonna keep growing here. My squash and peas in containers seem to uh, be okay. <clears throat> I can see a little bit of burn damage frost damage here on this squash and this poor guy here is the one who I um, got pr hit pretty hard when it was just like at a two four leaf stage uh, when the last frost hit and it looked like it wasn't completely dead so I left it and it took off again and then the, the poor thing got hit again so hopefully it'll make it tougher and stronger and it'll keep going so my urban flower bed here, um, short of removing sheets off our own beds, we pretty much had nothing left to cover them up. So um, I just brought a big container of dried leaves and grass clippings and buried everything as good as I could last night just to try and protect. Um, so I kind of buried all my herbs. They seemed to be okay, but then when I unearthed my basil, it is not, I don't think it's a survivor. It is pretty, uh, looks pretty dead. So I will be probably off to the greenhouse to grab another basil plant. This was a Thai basil, um, the herb that I had just bought at the greenhouse and planted up. And I had harvested a bunch of basil off of it yesterday morning and put it into one of our uh, roasted vegetable dishes last night for supper. It was so good. And then I come out this morning and it, I don't know if it's going to come back. There is some green still here, so I may be able to trim it down and hopefully it will come back. And then oddly enough, the stevia over here doesn't look like it's affected at all with any frost damage. So it's kind of... Uh, interesting to see how some plants are more tolerant than others over here was my zinnia plants um, i had stuck four in the ground here and two of them just got hit hard this one that was in the flowering stage seems to be okay so and i think other than that everything else looks like it survived these petunias were hit very hard in the first frost and they turned a, a yellow color. They were just starting to look like maybe they were going to come back and petunias are usually a pretty hardy flower here in zone three. So I'm confident that they will continue to grow and bloom. I was happy to see that this round of frost didn't uh, wipe out my sunflower patch here so because they're really starting to take off now and hopefully we'll see some sunflower blooming here in the next month or so so that is a quick tour of my garden on the first day of summer here in zone 3 Saskatchewan Canada and as I said at the beginning of my video things aren't looking quite as 
as great and uh, healthy as I was hoping at this time. But um, again, I'm confident that things are going to bounce back. So things might be a little bit stunted and it might be a little bit slower to produce tomatoes and peppers and some of those those plants that need a lot of consistent warm days to um, be healthy and, and produce the way, way you hope that they will. Um, I think the stuff like the carrots, the beets, the peas, all those, you know, are pretty, pretty hardy and tolerant to the cool weather. So hopefully they will continue to grow. The weatherman is now telling us hot, hot weather this week. Um, tomorrow, I believe it's 30 degrees Celsius is the high, which is high 80s, um, maybe low 90s going into the next week. So we're back to hot weather and no rain. <laughs> My uh, water tank is almost dry. I think I'm down to about 100 gallons of rainwater in my, in my garden tank. So I'm going to have to resort to well water probably. Hopefully the hot weather will bring us, you know, maybe some thunder showers that always uh, fills up the rain barrels really fast and give everything a quick drink. So thank you for taking a walk with me in my garden and listening to my whining and <laughs> sad story of frost hitting the garden and uh, uh, feeling sorry for some of my plants here. But um, again, that is part of the gardening game that we all deal with. Uh, weather is always um, something that we can't control and just got to try and work with it. I'm excited that we'll be eating a lot of salad soon and it's looking like the potatoes are going to start blooming. So the, uh, there's still lots to look forward to and work for here in our garden. So thank you for joining me here in my garden again and I hope that you will please leave a comment. Let me know what's going on in your gardening world and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are notified next time I have another video up on the channel. Thanks for watching.